Hey friends! For those of you who don't know me, I, I don't know how to pronounce my pen name either, but I've heard some people say Bethalia, so let's go with that. So I haven't scripted this or prepared in any way, shape, or form, but I hope you guys can take something away. So I decided to make a little clip for the grins, just kind of showing you guys... Wait, okay, wait, okay, it's starting, let me just... yeah. Some of you have been curious, I guess, as to how I yeah do stuff so i usually start with like an oblong kind of oval and then i always put the ears on before i put anything else on i don't know why i just do and then to put some dimension into the face i put the cheekbones in and then oh a really cool tip that i learned to add real dimension to your heads is to like tuck the the head behind the ears like i don't know it just it just made my head to look a little bit less weird so it goes it goes like like head, then ear, then cheekbone, then temple, some little eye sockets. So yeah, I like to think this resembles a decent start. And I like to draw the lips and the little dent <laughs> in the eye socket first. Um, this one's looking a little bit like a weird baby. <laughs> Popping in some cheekbones, some lines, some ears. We're gonna make this guy an elf. If I remember correctly, this one actually came out pretty decent. So, this is the official start of the not really tutorial because I don't really know what I'm doing either. But I decided to put some guidelines in for myself so I don't further misguide you good people. So back at it again with the eye sockets and some very odd shaped eyes and those temples. Two different kinds of lips I like to draw. I mean, I didn't mess those up too bad on the first one so you could have a look if you want to. But I like to draw maybe the top lip and the bottom lip even thicknesses. I don't know why, it kind of, I just vibe with that. And for the nose, I usually like to go impressionistic because I don't actually know how to draw noses. So I just draw a line, kind of following the form of how I want the nose to be and popping in some nostrils. I really should have scripted this. And his head was a little bit long too, so I, I kind of shoved it down a little bit. Oh, very important tip. Whenever you're drawing faces, it definitely helps to put the neck in for, I guess, just sort of context. Almost regardless of the face, whatever kind of neck and shoulders you give your character, it can completely change their vibe. It was looking a little sad, so I gave him a hairline, cause this is man's redemption arc. <laughs> Adding a shadow under the chin really helps as well. I hope you guys find this less awkward than I do. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. It's side profile time. So, as most of you probably know, um, it definitely helps to break up the face into halves and thirds and whatnot, so that's what I did here. And I will most likely completely ignore the guidelines that I set for myself when I actually draw the face. But for now, the eyes go about halfway down from the top of the head to the chin, the nose about halfway between that, and the mouth about halfway between that. So here we go, completely ignoring the guidelines. When you're doing a side, a side profile, you're going to want to smack that ear kind of dead center in the, the little, little cross thingy if you see it there. So, here we have our little pointy ear, a nice round Grecian jaw, and something I like to do for side profiles is this sort of, this sort of diagonal coming down from the brow like that, just to kind of accentuate the fact that the eyes are kind of in a slant, well, for the faces that I like to draw. I actually 
actually learned how to draw faces from looking at Greek statues. That's... that kind of explains why I... why I do what I do. <laughs> Sick? I guess that's an acceptable head. I hope you guys are learning something. Okay, so now I'm just gonna doodle in some heads like how I normally would without really thinking too much about it. Some big pointy ears, some nice crispy cheekbones, and a nice little guideline to put those eyes in and not have another extra long baby head. <laughs> when I draw faces, I like to draw the face, the hair, the shoulders, and the neck with the same kind of regard, as opposed to like a bunch of different concepts all coming together to make one image. Just so that the neck and the hair, they have the same gesture as a face would, or a figure would, for example. <laughs> and almost any time I don't know what to draw, I usually throw down this really dramatic side profile with its head kind of like thrust forward and I think it has a pretty nice gesture but I never know how to draw the back of the head quite right so this guy's looking a little bit boxy but um it's nothing you can't save with pointy ears so this fella's got some nice long eyelashes which I like to blend with the eyelid because I'm very lazy and Yeah. We're gonna give him a bowl cut too in a few seconds. It's gonna be great. Now I will demonstrate for you the fact that I do not know how to draw a skull, as I have not drawn a skull for quite a while. But I thought it would be useful anyway to put down what I... what I remember of the skull, just to show you kind of what's what's underneath and what's influencing my decisions when I when I put down certain lines. <laughs> so you can kind of see where the cheekbones fall, where the chin kind of moves out a little bit, where those temples are, and that space, that kind of hollow concave thingy around the eyes. My side profile skull is gonna be tragic. Gosh, <laughs> I definitely should have looked at some skulls before I drew these. I'm so sorry. At this point, you guys are safe to completely ignore the skull that I've drawn here, as it is entirely anatomically incorrect. So I've just put a hood on it because I don't actually know where the jaw connects to the rest of the skull. But here we have some teeth and a fancy little neck bone. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. So I decided to speed this clip up a little bit. Um, just drawing some faces, just doodling them in, just smacking them jaws down. And I decided to do these in the 3 4 profile because I hadn't done that in the original clip where I was actually pretty coherent, I like to think. So, when I do 3 4 angles, I usually do them without drawing the whole head because I like to connect the head directly into the neck so the jaw doesn't actually fall into that equation, <laughs> I guess. So I wrote use guidelines here because I messed up that ear pretty bad. But then again, I hardly ever use guidelines myself, which is why most of my sketchbook looks like 
if you guys have studied proportions before, you'll know that the ear kind of, like where it falls is between the eye, the brow bone and the bottom of the nose. And I, I guess it kind of falls under that now, but not really. So here we go again with another bare face. Oh, this one's looking pretty bad. Okay, I'm sorry you guys had to see this. <laughs> oh no! Okay, this kind of started off decent, but now it's just- I don't even know what, what's going on anymore. So, I hope you guys learned something, or at least were mildly entertained. I hope you guys are staying safe, staying hydrated, and uh, yeah, bye-bye! On the real note, guys, thanks for watching. For actual serious videos, check out my Patreon. I've got some speed paintings and other cool art stuffs up there, but for real, your support would mean the world. Bye!